now instead of graphing, let's try writing the equation of conic sections, given some information. Here we want to write the equation of a parabola, and the focus is at 1, negative 3, and the vertex is at 1, 0. Now whenever we deal with conic sections, it's always easiest to sketch a graph of what's going on first. Here our vertex is at 1, 0. Our focus is at 1, negative 3. That means our axis of symmetry is going to look like this. And our focus is below our vertex, and that means our parabola is going to open in the negative y direction. Which means it might look something like that. Since our parabola opens downward, or in the negative y direction, that means that we're going to use the standard form x minus h squared, and that's equal to 4p y minus k. We know our vertex is at 1, 0, so that means h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0. We can also find our p-value. Our p-value is the distance between our vertex and our focus. Well, this distance is 3. However, this parabola opens downward, which means our p-value is going to have to be negative. So we're going to say that p is equal to negative 3. If we plug all this in, we'll have x minus 1 squared is equal to 4 times negative 3 times y minus 0. Do some simplification, and this becomes x minus 1 squared is equal to negative 12 y. And this would be the standard equation for a parabola with the focus at 1, negative 3, and vertex at 1, 0. Now let's try writing an equation of an ellipse with a focus at 2, 4, and 2, negative 4, and then the minor axis length is 6. So once again we sketch a graph. Our foci are at 2, negative 4, and 2, 4. Our foci are on the major axis of our ellipse, so that's going to be in the y direction. That means our minor axis is going to be in the x direction. Now the center of our ellipse is halfway between our focus at 2, 4 and 2, negative 4, which you'll find is the point 2, 0. The distance between our center and our foci, well this distance is C. Well if this is a distance from 2, 0 to 2, 4, that means C is equal to 4. We're also given our minor axis length, which is in the x direction, and actually in this case is the x axis. It's got a length of 6, which means if we go in 3 units in either direction on the x-axis, we'll run into the minor axis vertices of this ellipse. Since this distance is in the x-direction, this is a, and since it's half of our major axis length, that means a is equal to 3. So our center is at 2, 0. Our c is 4, our a is 3. We want the standard equation for an ellipse, which once it's translated is x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. I have my a, I have my h and k, all I need is my b. Well, the y direction is going to be our major axis. So we can find our b by using the equation c squared is equal to b squared minus a squared. c is 4, so this will be 4 squared. That's equal to b squared minus a squared is 3. So this is 16 is equal to b squared minus 9. Add 9 to both sides. We'll get b squared is equal to 25, or b is equal to 5. So I have my b. Now I can write my equation. This is x minus h our h is 2, so x minus 2 squared, over a squared, 
a is 3, so 3 squared would be 9. Add that to y minus k, our k is 0, so y minus 0 squared over b squared, our b is 5, square that, that's 25, and that's equal to 1. Let's do a little bit more simplification, this is x minus 2 squared over 9 plus y squared over 25 is equal to 1. And that's the equation of our ellipse. Now the last thing we're going to do is write the equation of a hyperbola, given that our covertices are negative 2, 6 and negative 2, negative 4, and our foci are negative 15, 1 and 11, 1. As always, when you deal with conic sections, it's usually easiest to draw a quick sketch. Our covertices are negative 2, 6 and negative 2, negative 4. Our foci are at negative 15, 1 and 11, 1. And that means our center is the point negative 2, 1. Now our covertices create an axis that is in the y direction. This distance between these vertices is a distance of 10 because we're going from 6 to negative 4 in the y direction, which means half this distance would be 5. And since this is in the y direction, that means b is equal to 5. This distance here between our foci, this is a distance of 26 because we're going from negative 15 to a positive 11 in the x direction. If this is 26, that means this distance is 13. And since these are our foci, that distance is c, which means I can find my a values just by using the equation c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. If I plug in, I'll have 13 squared is equal to a squared plus 5 squared. This is 169 is equal to a squared plus 25. This is a squared is equal to 144. Take the square root of both sides and we'll get a is equal to 12. So I have my a value and my b value and I have the center of my hyperbola. So I'm going to go back to the standard equation of a hyperbola that has its center at hk. That standard equation is x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared and that's all equal to 1. I know I'm subtracting the y term because my foci are on the x parallel axis or my transverse axis is parallel to the x axis. So if I plug in for a and b and h and k we'll have x minus h but h is negative 2, so this will become plus 2 squared over a. My a is 12, so 12 squared, which is 144. And we're going to subtract y minus k. k is positive 1, so y minus 1 squared over b squared, where b is 5. So if I square 5, this will be 25, and that's equal to 1. So that is the equation of our translated hyperbola. And that completes the tutorial on translations of conic sections.